this is my official announcement, but as you may have known, there was kind of a little, a little underground current about the fact that I may announce. In fact, one of my very, very good friends uh, posted on Facebook that um, I was going to be running and I wanted to be able to give you an idea on Facebook of some of my credentials long before I made the official announcement. So here is the unofficial announcement. Word on the street is that the courthouse steps at noon on Wednesday, November 4th is the place to be. My buddy, Jared Redfield, will be announcing his running for circuit court of Portage County. Can't get more local than Jared. He played on JC's the first year of Little League in Stevens Point, graduated from PJ's, and bartended at Pete Redfield's Silver Coach. So, uh, and when he was a JC baseball player, he played with Rick Warren, who had a future in Major League Baseball. So, for the shoe, those are my credentials. So you may you may assume that the rest of this is a footnote. <laughs> Actually, I got, a, I got a post this morning from Rick Ruckert, who said he was going to be supporting me, and he said he'll vote twice for me, but not to tell anyone. <laughs> um, I graduated from PJs, that's true. I went to the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Um, had a wonderful time, and loved it. Got accepted to Georgetown Law School. An interesting period in the summer and one of the things that sparked my interest in politics and in the law was that I was a White House intern. This was before Mona Lewinsky days. So uh, at that time it was a respectable position. But during the time when I was working at, as a part-time at National Institutes of Health and as um, part of my program as a White House intern, I took a tour of the White House. This is when I was early college days. And while I was touring the White House, um, I got kind of bored because the line was long. And so we wandered uh, with another friend who was also going to law school, or about to go to law school. We were wandering around the back part of the White House, and I turned the corner. This is an amazing story. I turned the corner and walked right into President Kennedy. And he was all there, he was there by himself. He was standing with like this, ramrod straight, with his hands behind his back. And he looked at us as if we were, you know, he said, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> and we said, we're on a White House tour, but we got a little bored in the line, and, and so we were wandering around. And he said, well, he said, welcome to the White House. And he said, no, he said, what are you guys going to be doing? And we both said, we're going to go to law school. And you know, he didn't bat an eye, and he said, you know, lawyers can make a great contribution to public service. Now, I, I was just in a maze. Here's a guy who's president of the United States in his backyard, and he talked to us about what the value of public service was. That was the thing he wanted to say to us. I found that most remarkable, and it was truly inspiring. I, it really did make me feel that someday I was going to make a time to service. I went to Georgetown, and I will tell you, Georgetown is a remarkable place to go to law school, and it's because the, the Georgetown Law Center is close to the Supreme Court, the walking distance of the Supreme Court. And as law students, we used to walk over to the Supreme Court when, on decision day and would watch, the, I don't know whether you know, but the major, the justice who's writing the major opinion would actually come out and read the opinion to, uh, to the courthouse. Uh, it was just amazing. And most of my colleagues either worked for uh, congressmen or they worked for um, in some branch of the legislature. Uh, but we got to see how law is made firsthand by working with, by having uh, knowledge of the how the system works because I had lunch with Mel Laird when he was a congressman um, and while I was at Georgetown. And the other interesting thing about it is that in all the major, in many of the major cases that we were studying in law school, the, the Justice Department, for instance, the lawyers from the Justice Department would come and lecture our class. And it really gave me an awareness of how the law works, how legislation is made, how decisions are made, and what they did, how the legal community is much I spent a couple of years after that uh, in private practice in both in Washington and in New York, 
uh, and I was uh, for a short period of time a tax counsel for International Paper Company. I came back on a sabbatical, and you know, I got offered a position to teach business law and um, English. Because one of the things I did is I had the rights to Charlotte's Web, the Broadway rights to Charlotte's Web. Well, where I really developed the love for law is uh, general practice here in this, this community. Uh, I have been engaged as a general practitioner in many phases of law, civil, criminal, bankruptcy, probate, and it's been a wonderful experience. I've gotten to know the community, and most importantly, I've gotten to be involved in many community organizations like the Salvation Army, the Mention of the Bureau. This has really been a wonderful way to live in this community and serve in this community. As a result of my 30 years of practice here in central Wisconsin, I really feel like I've got to know the law well. I've got to see how it's interpreted fairly and properly. I've got to know the, the legal system well enough so that I think I can function and bring a deliberation in my opinions that might be lacking in somebody without the experience that I've had and without the friends about the best experience that I've had. So I feel qualified to run for this office. I feel I can really do a good job. And the other thing that I want to talk about besides my experience is my passion for this community. I grew up here, I love it, and it has been a source of just a great way to live and to raise kids. So I am now announcing officially, and I hope that you will consider voting for me. Thank you.